Hello and welcome to Golfo Media Chicago Free Joomla Tutorials. On our last video called Duplicate Content on Joomla 3.4, I've revised the issue with the Joomla Duplicate Content. But I promised that I will make a new video dealing with the issue if there were still reports from my subscribers of trail slashes bleeding through the system. And that seems to be the case. The duplicate content is a problem with the search engines that read your site with www or non www as two separate websites and therefore considers the content of the website duplicated and for that your website gets penalized. Also search engines read trail slashes and non trail slashes links as duplicate content. For example, your site.com trail slash about and your site.com trail slash about trail slash will also be considered duplicate content and therefore your website gets penalized. Today I came up with this simple solution without having to write any code whatsoever. Simply using two free plugins and a site called Nibbler to check the status of the issue. This is our site Nibbler that will tell us the status of the issue. The plugins, one is called Domain Redirect and deals with the www to the non www issue without us having to write any code on the HT access file. Of course, there is still an option if you prefer not to use a plugin or for some reason this plugin does not work with your version. The other plugin is called Joom. SEF. This extension is highly recommended and not only by me. It is a pain extension but they have a free version that will help us with those trade slashes that just won't go away by making 301 redirects. Ok, I have installed another site. This time is Joomla version 3.2 that I know it has that problem so let's go for it. Ok, this is our Nibbler report. We have to go to server behavior, which is where we'll find this information. And now it's telling us about the www to non www issue. But also we have two row URLs with trail slashes duplicates somehow leaking through the system. Ok, first things first. Let's go to the page and download the first plugin called Domain Redirect. We click download and download complete. Let's go for the second one. The second one is Zoom SEF. Okay, click download. And here it is, we want this version. Download. And we have it. As you can see, you can download the plugins very easy, you don't even have to register. Ok, let's proceed and install the first extension. Always one at a time when installing components is a good advice. So if there is something wrong, it will be easier to detect and track it later. Let's install domain redirect that deals with the www to the non www issue. Ok, let's choose file. It's under downloads. Here it is. I'll double click, let's install it. Ok, now let's go to that plugin and activate it. Let's look for it. What's called domain something. Here it is. So we activated it and let's open it and set it up under basic options. And here is where we're gonna type our www or non www website URL whichever you prefer. In our case, it's going to be www.newsot.org. So we're not going to use the non-www. And now we save. OK, now let's go back to Nibbler and retake the tests. Retest. Of course, I will fast forward the videos so you won't have to wait for the test to take place. Ok, the test is over. Our server behavior went up. That's a good sign. Let's go and see what happens. And as we can see, our problem is gone. 
the site redirects correctly. But as we can see, we have some trail slashes bleeding here. Here, we have two annoying trail slashes that are going through the system. So let's deal with them. Let's go back to our back end of Joomla and install the other plugin cam joom scf okay, upload and install now let's go to our components and here it is joom scf and we'll go to manage 301 redirects okay what we're gonna do is create some 301 redirects to deal with those two rogue trail slashes so for that we need to find out the exact URL so let's go back to Nibbler and here it is the one with the trail slash so we simply copy this link and move back to the administrator create a new redirect and move the trail slash and copy it also the right there and take the trace slash out and save. Let's do the same with the other URL. Let's go back to Nibbler and deal with the second one. Select all, copy. Let's go back to the back end. Create a new 301 redirect. Copy twice and take the trace slash on the second one and save and close fantastic and now let's go back to Nibbler again and retake the test and as we can see the problem is gone server behavior is 10 so we can see without writing any code I hope this is helpful Thank you for watching.